Nebraska, especially beginning to see the bad effects. Madison County is included. The sheriff there issuing a no travel advisory near Norfolk this evening, saying that the roads there are too icy and it's simply dangerous travel tonight. Well, this weather could mean some dangerous travel conditions tonight and tomorrow morning in many places. Our Rebecca Pryor is outside right now. She joins us live from downtown Sioux City. Rebecca, how are road conditions looking right now? Bridget, road conditions here on Gordon Drive, they're looking a little bit slick. Drivers that have been going by tonight, we don't see any right now, but they've been going pretty slow. They've been taking their time, they've been very cautious. For my early morning commuters, tomorrow, you guys, you might want to give yourselves a little bit of extra time for those morning routines. That freezing drizzle that has been coming down is expected to coat much of Suwen with a thin layer of ice overnight. Some snow may cover up some of that ice, so be especially careful as you're walking out to your vehicles in the morning. But but you're definitely going to want to have the scraper blades prepped and ready for de-icing your car. To save yourself some trouble tomorrow, though, there are many proactive measures you can still take tonight to make sure that your morning scraping is a little bit easier. You can purchase covers for them, cover up the windshield, and a lot of the times when that frost and snow and ice comes through, you can just peel the cover right off after it comes through, start up your car in the morning. Uh, if you don't have a cover, then easiest thing to do, get some de-icer, put that in your windshield washer, a reservoir for your fluid there, and a lot of that will melt off and push it off to the side. It's also important to note you shouldn't put hot water on your windshield to melt that ice. Not only will the water just refreeze, the sudden change in temperature can cause the windshield to crack. And you can absolutely tell that these temperatures out here tonight have dropped. So when you go out to that vehicle tomorrow morning, you're going to want to be bundled up. That means hats, gloves, jackets, you name it, you're going to need it. There's already enough ice out here tonight to keep you out there scraping for a pretty long time there tomorrow. So I want you guys to be prepared for that. Reporting live in Sioux City, Rebecca Pryor, KCAU 9 News.